Hi everyone, welcome back to Brookdale Farm. It's another beautiful, hot, sunny day here today, with just a few clouds. Um, it's probably going to be in the high 30s today. Uh, so this morning's job is we've got to treat our silos for weevils. Okay, weevil. Okay, what are weevils? Weevils are these little brown, creepy crawly, hard shelled bugs that you can see running around here. Um, now they get into the grain and they eat the grain from the inside. So it's very hard to tell how much damage they have done to the grain until you go to bag some up and you discover that you actually can't fit 25 kilos into a bag anymore. Um, because the grain is now just the hollow shell of what it used to be. Now the first place you find weevils is around the bagging chutes. They always seem to congregate down in here, so the rest of the silo is not quite so bad. Uh, but it's certainly time we treated it. Now, how did the weevils get in here? It's very hard to actually clean all the weevils out of your silos at the end of the previous season. Um, often I will bomb my silo when it's empty before I refill it just to get all the, the weevils out of there. But you always end up with some in the harvester and in the truck bin. No matter how well you have cleaned them out, there's always going to be some weevils in there. Uh, so they're, they're one of... Okay, so there's a couple of products we can use to get rid of weevils. Um, two of the or a couple of the more harmless ones are bricky's lime mixed in with your grain will do it um and it, they don't like the lime up against them it burns them a bit also diatomaceous earth mixed in with your grain will do it but it does make your grain a bit hard to sell when it's filled with uh, dust and dirt um, i'm told also that in small quantities bay leaves work really well in a sealed container um, what we use is a product called Fumican. Um, now this is pretty nasty stuff. Um, it's, it creates phosphine gas. Um, so these are small tablets and when they get the moisture from the humidity up against them, they release this gas. Um, so this is an aluminium phosphide uh, tablet in here. I'll open these and show you what they look like in a moment. Now these are <coughs> nasty things. Um, phosphine is one of the um, gases that was used during the Second World War uh, to gas the troops. So we need to be very, very careful with this stuff. <coughs> um, the reason that we use this is because it's a gas, uh, it leaves no residual in the grain at all. So there's no dirt, there's no lime left in there, there's no, nothing traceable left in the grain when it is tested. Okay, the first thing we need to do is work out how big our silo is. I know this one's 1500 bushels and I always like to write it on the side just by the ladder here um, because I never remember these numbers. Uh, it's 1500 bushels, um, which means it's 54.5 cubic meters. Now we need to know this number because there are three tablets that go in for every two cubic meters. So that means in here we need 82 tablets. I also write the capacity of the wheat and the oats in here as well, um, which just helps me remember when I'm filling it up how much I can fit in each silo. Now these containers here each hold 100 tablets. Um, now what we're going to do is I've got an old trouser leg here um, tied off at the bottom with a piece of string. Lots of people use an old sock or something like that. You don't want to put these tablets directly in your silo because they form, they break down and there's a powder left over uh, and you don't want that mixed in with your grain. So we're going to fill up this, um, this sock with it. Uh, we're going to tie it off at the top with a bit more baling twine and then we're going to tie this in the silo to the ladder so that we can pull it out later on. Um, so first thing, well the next thing we need to do is to count out these tablets. Um, I've got empty container or half container there that I'm going to put the rest into. Um, 
this is very dangerous stuff uh, I like to do this on a windy day so that the gas blows away um, also always wear a respirator a mask with the appropriate filters and gloves um, because you don't want to be inhaling this stuff it gives you a headache really really quickly even outdoors in the wind um, so I'll I'll put my safety gear on and um, we'll uh, I'll I'll open this up and I'll show you what the tablets look like okay um, one of the other things I always like to do with any chemical container is I always write the um, dose rate on the outside um, they always come with a packet of information um, and it always takes me ages to find the dose rate that I actually need in there so once I've read that and worked out what I need I just write it on the outside makes it quicker and easier for me okay so these these contain a hundred tablets each I need 82 tablets to dose this silo so I'm going to take 18 out of here and put them into here and then the rest of this goes into the uh, into the sock and into the silo um, so I'm going to put my mask on now I'll show you what the tablets look like uh, and we'll go through the rest of that process Okay, so this is, oh, I sound a bit like a dialect. This is the tablets. Um, as you can see, they're losing a bit of powder. Um, and, and these turn into just powder once they're done. Uh, so we don't want that to go into the silo. Uh, so I'll count these out now because I don't like handling them for too long. Once they're in the sock, um, you don't need to handle them anymore, you can just hold on to the piece of string. Um, so you can keep your distance a bit more. But still keep your mask off. Okay, here we are up on the silo again. <coughs> you can see the grain that we've used in here already. Uh, now that we've now I've opened up the top and we're up here on top, we can see the weevils that are running around the outside around the doorway in so we'll haul the, the tablets up now and we'll throw them in well it's a good view from up here on top of the silo um, I never like uh, handling chemicals so this is one of those jobs that I tend not to get round to quite as promptly as I should do um, but now it's done um, within the week those weevils will be dead uh, and then we let it vent for a week these silos leak a fair bit of air anyway in and out um, so so yeah by the time a fortnight's up there'll be none of that uh, uh, residual gas left in there at all anyway thanks for watching um, i hope you've enjoyed this video and i hope to see you again next time thanks bye